My name is Bill, and I'm a <laughs> messenger of the gospel. <laughs> we started out, um, we took off down Valencia Street, and then we kind of backed up, and I felt like we were supposed to go to Muddy Waters and get, you know, I, I wanted to get a coffee, but I felt like we were supposed to go back that way. So we went back, then went to Muddy Waters, came out, and stopped and prayed for a minute, and we just started to come around to 16th Street. And then we, we met a man there, we talked to him, we prayed for him, and he started, then he wanted to pray for us. And that kind of went iffy. But the big thing was we were walking further, and there was a, two women sitting there. Actually, I saw the one, it was an elderly um, Spanish woman sitting here selling flowers and hats. And as we are walking, I knew we had to go talk to her. So I went over and I started talking, and she spoke no English. And I speak Paquito Espanol, very little. So I, I, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say, and I go, I go, Jesus de Cristo. Hmm. And she goes, oh, si. <laughs> you know? And then I, and I said, Gloria a Dios, amen. And she goes, yeah. And so I started talking to her more. And, and she says that she, I find out she's a Christian, but she was kind of lacking in some areas, and she was homeless, and, and she was selling hats and flowers in order to make a living. So we ended up praying with her, but as I was praying for her, her girlfriend, her friend come over, the other woman, and she was selling flowers. And I right away I knew something was wrong, and I, so I, I started to talk to her, she spoke English. And James and uh, Mel, or, uh, Bernie was with us, and Bernie was talking to somebody else, and James was kind of hanging out right there with me. And so I, I started to talk to the other one, her name was Maria, she spoke English. And as I'm talking to her, I'm looking at her, and I could see her, her knee was going like this. I saw it like flashing, like, I, like there was something wrong with her. I mean, just in the spirit, I saw it flashing. And then her arm did the same thing, and I said, is there something wrong with your right knee? And she goes like this, she goes like this. I said, oh, your left knee? She goes, oh, no, no, it's this one, but I just was showing because I didn't want to touch that one. And I said, can I pray for your knee? And she goes, oh, okay, can I, I'll, I'll just pray for you. And, then, and she said, and I said, something with your left wrist or foot? She goes, yeah, I was in a car accident, and it was really messed up, and she could hardly use it. So we started to pray. I prayed for her. I, I commanded all the pain to go in the name of Jesus, and then I asked for complete healing, you know, a, a complete new knee for her. I found out the cartilage was all gone in her knee. So it was bone against bone. And so we prayed for complete healing in her knee, new cartilage, and for her arm to be completely healed. And so we get done praying. I, I go to her. I said, well, check your arm and check your knee. And she's like going, it's a burden. She goes, there's no pain. And I said, how about your wrist? She's like this. She goes, I couldn't do that. <laughs> there was no pain, so she was completely healed, both wrist Amen. and knee. And then we prayed for some more. Then we got done there, and we went over to talk to was a guy named Julius. He was, we're standing over by 16th and Mission, and kind of just standing at the bar station for a minute. And I'm looking at this guy sitting down, and his face is just starting to light up. And I said, we got to talk to him. So we, we all three of us started talking to him. And he had one eye that had a cataract, and it was a really, really bad, completely blind. And the other eye was kind of bad. And so we're praying and talking to him, and, and he, found, he, was, he was a Christian, but he had backslid in. So we led him back to Christ, brought him back in, and we prayed for him. Then we prayed for him after that. And as I was praying for him, Bernie goes, do you want us to pray for your eyes? And just like that, and, and he goes, he points, Bernie points at me, oh, pray for his eyes. So I said, oh, we're going to pray for your eyes. So I put my hand over his eyes and started praying. Mm -hmm. Then when we stopped, it was like his one eye that was bad, that he could see out of was better. And the other eye was starting to get better, but I it really felt in the spirit that it was going to be better in the morning. And he felt better. He was he was glowing when we mm. left. He was glowing. Yeah. His face was all lit up, and he was happy and crying. Crying, yes, crying. It was amazing. It was just amazing. It was an amazing time. It was just really cool. And it was so in a short. It all just like the first part of our time was kind of slow, but and then in, in like a half an hour to forty five minutes time, we got three people, three healings, and. Uh, Somebody's led to Christ, and we prayed for a bunch of people, and it just it went like crazy. It was amazing at the end. Oh, yeah.